Everyone, please be seated. Good afternoon. Yeah. I'm Peyton Rowe, Interim Director of the Richardson, Richard T. Robertson School of Media and Culture at Virginia Commonwealth University. Welcome to the Robertson School's December 2021 Commencement Ceremony. This is an annual highlight in the life of our students, faculty, and staff. We are all so thrilled to be back in person celebrating our Robertson School students in this ceremony. We hope, <laughs> thank you. We hope all, <laughs> all <laughs> you are excited as well as the horn indicated. Share your excitement on social media and use the hashtag VCU Robertson. The Robertson School is a great place to learn and work. As one of the largest mass communications programs in the state, we offer professional programs with tremendous backing in theory and research to complement the hands-on learning and real-world curriculum. Robertson School students graduate with hundreds of hours of real-world experience ready to tell great stories. Whether they are earning their Bachelor of Science degree in one of five majors, or their Master's of Science degree in one of two areas, Robertson School graduates enter the workforce, workforce with the skills, practice, and professionalism to land a great job and make a difference in the industry. At the Robertson School, we believe great stories reveal the truth, inspire action, and give hope. Our graduates carry that belief into all their future endeavors and media careers, and we could not be more proud of you. I'd like to begin this ceremony by recognizing our faculty and staff. The Robertson School faculty is composed of nationally and internationally known scholars, teachers, and communication professionals. The pride VCU has in the Robertson School is because of our faculty, full-time and part-time alike. The faculty have created our programs, brought them to life, and kept them shining. They have served as teachers, mentors, and role models for our students and alumni. They have provided our students with transformative experiences at VCU. Faculty colleagues, please rise and accept our appreciation. The Robertson School staff members are an incredibly committed and amazing group that helps make the school so successful. They all contribute to the school's operation every day helping our students and faculty in large and small ways. Whether they have been here for many years or just began their time at the Robertson School, each person cares deeply about our students' success and well-being. We wouldn't be the Robertson School without you. Staff colleagues, please rise and accept our appreciation. Wherever they are, they're around. They're in the back, making things happen. <laughs> Special thanks goes to Natasha Long, who has prepared and coordinated this commencement ceremony. <laughs> Professor Scott Sherman, who designed the program. And Steve Taggart, who is videotaping this ceremony for us. Thank you for dedicating your time and energy to help with this special event. Now I have a special guest on the stage to introduce to you. Dr. Marcus Messner is an Associate Dean in the VCU College of Humanities and Sciences and a professor of journalism. Yes, he is a proud member of the Robertson School, even while performing his duty in the Dean's office. Dr. Messner, may I please ask you to come to the podium to address our graduates. Well, thank you, Professor Rowe. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I had a chance uh, to meet many of our graduates here today uh, when I was director of the uh, Robertson School of Media and Culture, and so I'm very glad uh, that I can join you on this very special day. So why don't we start by giving you a huge congratulations to our graduates.
The Robertson School of Media and Culture makes a vital contribution to the mission of the College of Humanities and Sciences, uh, which is really the intellectual heart of VCU. Our mission in the college is not just to educate our students, but to transform them by teaching them to think independently, analyze critically, and to be fluent, not only verbally, but digitally and culturally as well. As students in the humanities and sciences and in the Robertson School, you have contributed to that mission with your energy, enthusiasm, and intellectual curiosity. The constant advancement of human knowledge makes it difficult to predict how your future will evolve in our ever-changing world. The only prediction I hope will be true is that today's graduation does not mark the end of your pursuit of knowledge. I'm confident that VCU, at VCU you have developed the skills to think critically and gain a fundamental understanding of your discipline that can serve as a foundation for you to navigate this ever-changing world. Keep learning and keep thinking. The future is constantly being invented and you may play a part in helping to invent it. Some of you may be planning to go on to graduate school in the future. Others may be going into careers in your chosen major. And still others may be taking a career path that goes in a completely different direction. If you approach your future careers with intellectual curiosity and a commitment to lifelong learning, then you will enjoy great success and great personal satisfaction in whatever you take on. As graduates, graduates, you now have demonstrated that you have the ability to set a goal and achieve it. This is something you should strive to repeat throughout the rest of your lives. Your goal when you came to VCU was to earn a degree, and we are making that achievement today. After a little celebration and time with family and friends today, it will be time for you to set new goals for yourself and to go after them with the same determination. In my time here at VCU, I've met so many students who have had to overcome obstacles in order to be here, such as students who work and go to school full time, or students who have returned to school after years in the workforce or raising a family. These students have had one thing in common. They were determined to obtain an education, and they were not afraid to overcome these obstacles along the way. Especially during this last year and a half, feels like 10 years, uh, you have been tested like no graduating class before. You switched with us to remote education at a week's notice at the beginning of the pandemic last year. And you worked through a combination of in-person, hybrid, online, flexible classes ever since. Your life has been disrupted like we could have never imagined. But none of this could stop you. You went to work, you were determined, and you made it, and you succeeded. All of this makes me very hopeful about your journey after you graduate today. You have shown that you have all the skills that you need to succeed, and you have demonstrated an incredible can-do spirit. Many of you have your own stories of the challenges you faced in order to be here today, and I doubt that anyone in this room can say that everything has always gone according to plan in getting to where they are in life. But here you are about to cross this stage in cap and gown and officially graduate from VCU. Go out, pursue your dreams, and make your mark on this world. I know you will make VCU very proud. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you so much, Dr. Messner. Now I have the pleasure of introducing our graduation speaker for today. Nancy Kent Smith has spent her professional life in the news business as a vice president of news, a news director, and a managing editor. In her latest posting as regional news director for Raycom Media, Nancy managed the operation of newsrooms across the country, ranging from WOIO in Cleveland, Ohio, to Hawaii News Now in Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> Overall, she had responsibility for stations in a wide range of markets, including Toledo, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Louisville, Kentucky, Evansville, Indiana, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, 
Jonesboro, Arkansas, Wilmington, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Tucson, Arizona. Before joining Raycom, Nancy served as the Vice President for News for Lincoln Financial Media and Jefferson Pilot Communications. During that time, she directed news operations for NBC 12, WWBT News, and the CW here in Richmond. <laughs> Nancy began her career as an intern at the Times-Herald Daily Press in Newport News, Virginia. Her early work in television news took her to markets as diverse as Corpus Christi, Texas, and Greensboro, North Carolina. In 2005, she was honored with the George Bowles Jr. Award for Distinguished Performance in Broadcast News by the Virginia Association of Broadcasters. She is currently the Executive Vice President of Media Solutions. Her company serves media companies including the CT Television Network in Canada, Urban One in Charlotte, North Carolina, and Nashville Public Radio. In addition, Nancy serves as, as an advisory board member for the Robertson School. As an undergraduate here at VCU, she received a scholarship from the Society of Professional Journalists. Today, Nancy is proud to join her fellow graduates. She will receive her master's degree from the school in just a short while. Please join me in welcoming Nancy Kent Smith. Thank you. I am grateful to be here with you today because today we give testimony to miracles. Just months ago, we were online and on Zoom and struggling to create a sense of community. I challenge you now to look to your left and smile at the person next to you. <laughs> now look to your right and do the same. Don't be shy, this is a very important day. And the fact that we are all together is a miracle after all. On each side of you is a person of courage who made the choice to persevere. I am proud to be in your company as we celebrate your achievement because you are truly champions. When faced with isolation and uncertainty, you kept moving forward. When we moved to online learning, you kept moving forward. When circumstances stressed our families and loved ones with illness, you stepped up, you helped, and you kept moving forward. To be a member of this class on this day in 2021 is to show the grit and determination that it takes to be successful in this business. The writer J.R.R. Tolkien said that we do not choose our time, but we are empowered to choose what we do with it. You are marked on this graduation day with proof that you have chosen purpose. Remember that your time on earth has a limit. You have a very short time to achieve your purpose. It's a noisy world, and the opinions of others may derail you. Your purpose will not always be clear as you walk your path. As you sit here today, you may be struggling with what your purpose is. But hear me when I say that your work will define our time. The American experiment of a diverse democracy has always been fragile. It must be tended with care. And it must be tended with the skills that you have learned at this university. We are no better, no wiser, and no braver than our ancestors. What we have here is the benefit of their experience. Never be afraid to take on the responsibility to speak the truth. Here at Virginia Commonwealth University, researchers labor every day to find truth. And here at the Robertson School, our academic leaders have given us the tools to communicate effectively and bravely in a very noisy world. Remember to conduct your work in a way that gives proof to the truth that the word media is not a slur, but is a tool in the service of truth. Listen intently. Hearing others is the only way that we will find a path forward together. And as you set off on your career, 
Remember that the struggles along the way are what hone you for your purpose. Now remember those people on the left and the right of you. Keep those people close because you will need them going forward. Not a one of us can do this alone. Our purpose must be shared. That's where the listening comes in. Let's start off right now by exchanging names and sending invitations to LinkedIn and keep in touch with those you have here and hold dear. You know that the person sitting next to you is a person of grit and determination, so make a permanent connection. Now you have the tools to write your story. Let's start by composing the next chapter. And I thank you for allowing me to be here as you write the first page of your new story. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. We'd like to, we'd like to give you this as a show of our appreciation for speaking today. Thank, thank you, you so much. My pleasure. Based on our faculty's votes, several outstanding December 2021 graduates will receive Robertson School Faculty Awards today. Graduates, when you hear your name, please proceed onto the stage to receive your award from Dr. Messner and stay on the stage for a group photo with all other award recipients. As a reminder for safety and following VCU protocols, Everyone needs to remain masked when walking across the stage and we will not be shaking hands. Yeah. The Robertson School Faculty Award for Creative Advertising Students goes to Emily Young. We'll take a group photo, so remain on stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's okay, more will come. The, Robert <laughs> the Robertson School Faculty Award for Strategic Advertising Students goes to Natalie Baxter. Come up. up. <laughs> the Robertson School Faculty Award for Broadcast Journalism students goes to Treshawn Holcomb. The Robertson School Faculty Award for Digital Journalism students goes to Andrea Kanicki. Robertson School Faculty Award for Public Relations students goes to Heather James. The Robertson School Faculty Award for Strategic Public Relations in our graduate program 
goes to Genwa Yahia. We will publicize all of these award recipients' achievements on the Robertson School's website and on our social media. Congratulations to all these outstanding graduates. Congratulations, everybody. In our December 2021 graduating class, we have many other individuals deserving recognition. KTA is a national honor society that recognizes academic excellence and promotes scholarship in journalism and mass communication. Ten new members were inducted into Kappa Tau Alpha last week, seven undergraduate students and three graduate students. All the new members have GPAs exceeding 3.86. Will all the members of the Kappa Tau Alpha VCU chapter and the graduating class please rise and be recognized. We also have an award from the Capital Alpha Chap VCU chapter. The winner of the KTA Top Scholar Award is the graduating senior with the highest GPA. This year, the award goes to Emily Young with a perfect 4.0 GPA, both in the Robertson School and overall. Please stand and be recognized. In the Robertson School, Latin honors are awarded to baccalaureate degree recipients who have achieved a high cumulative grade point average. Gra graduates with distinction of a GPA from 3.3 to 3.59, please rise and be recognized. Congratulations, you graduate cum laude. Graduates with great distinction of a GPA from 3.6 to 3.89, please rise and be recognized. You graduate magna cum laude. And graduates with highest distinction of a GPA from 3.9 or higher, please rise and be recognized. You graduate summa cum laude. Now, we have arrived at that part of the program you all have been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas to the students receiving master's and baccalaureate degrees. Today, we have 17 graduates from our graduate programs and 100 graduates from our five undergraduate majors. Faculty marshals, will you please assist the students in coming forward to receive their ceremonial Robertson School special envelopes. These envelopes are indeed special, enclosed with messages from our faculty and staff to our graduates. It will also tell you how to get a hold of your diploma. <laughs> Dr. Karen McIntyre, Director of Graduate Studies, and Dr. Bill Oglesby, will you please come to the podium and read the names of those who will receive a Master of Science degree and those who will receive a Bachelor of Science degree. Again, for safety and following VCU protocols, everyone needs to remain masked when walking across the stage. We will not be shaking hands, but we will be taking photos on stage. Upon exiting the stage, there will be an opportunity to take an individual picture unmasked.
Shannon Blunt. Veronica Campbell. <laughs> Renee Daniels. <laughs> William Dillon. Nader Al Sheikh <laughs> Jennifer Goff. Adam Hamza. <laughs> Isabella Nakarato. Sahur Randawa. <laughs> Nancy Kent Smith. Genwa Yahia. <laughs> and now our candidates for Bachelor of Science. Sophia Octoberg. Aram Ahmed. Amanda Aste. Zaria Arrington. <laughs> Natalie Baxter. <laughs> Rachel Bennett. Sean Anthony Blake. Hunter Bonnewell. Erica Brooks.
Giovanni Brown. Jack Brown. <laughs> Natalia Bruno. Julia Bruski. <laughs> Caroline Bryant. <laughs> Joseph Calabrese. Alexandra Carrillo. <laughs> Allison Chinyavong. Karen Cook. <laughs> Logan Cooper. Diane Denuus. Adia Diaz. Matthew Dingus. Samantha Duma. Alina Draper. <laughs> Emily Young. Rebecca Elrod. Sarah Elson. Technology. 
William Farmer. Elizabeth Ferguson. Jade Fleming. Kyle Goodia. Venus Hadsdy. Eric Haugen. Taylor Henderson. Adelisa Hodzik. <laughs> Treshawn Holcomb. Sarah Huffman. <laughs> Heather James. Zachary Jaros. Technology. Randy Rose Hoven. <laughs> Joseph Joyner. Andrea Kanicki. <laughs> Tyler Knox. <laughs> Hugh 
Hyung Lee. Megan Lee. Olivia Lewis. Olivia Lovelace. <laughs> Maeve Oliver. Jenna Lee Orenduff. <laughs> Fatima Osborne. Erica Perez Escobar. Austin Phillips. Brett Pico. <laughs> Elizabeth Reese Pope. Michaela Pound. <laughs> Kyle Reed. Amy Robertson. <laughs> Daniel Schulteis. Victoria Spiegel. <laughs> Destiny Thompson. Carly Yurkides. <laughs> Riley Wilcox. <laughs> Ianla XO.
Sophie Zaccaroli. Alexandre Zubieta. I give you the December 2021 graduating class of the VCU Robertson School. Class of 2021, you are now embarking on a new journey in your lives. You have persevered during really hard times and you have come out strong. We wish you enormous success and great happiness. In the spirit of joy and happiness, I know the graduates will join me in this request. We would like to recognize all those who have made and will continue to make the success and happiness of our graduates possible. Parents, spouses, partners, relatives, and friends, would you please stand and accept our gratitude? Now, you graduates must pass one final exam, and you have classes on Monday, so there's that. Um, <laughs> or you may. But pay attention. Take your ta tassels and transfer them from the left to the left of your cap from the right. Wearing the tassel. <laughs> Everybody back that up. <laughs> Look, it's awkward. We're back at this at the first time. Take them from the right. Put them on the left. There we go. I'm glad this is being recorded. <laughs> you passed even with awkward instructions. Well done. You must be very, very smart. Congratulations to our December 2021 graduating class. Go Rams! <laughs> this completes the formal part of our celebration. Thank you for being part of our Robertson School family at VCU. Don't be strangers. You are always welcome to share your two cents with us. We want to hear from you. As the recessional music plays, we ask that the faculty and graduates stand. We ask that our guests remain seated until the graduates have exited. Then you can join the graduates and faculty for co conversation and photos in the lobby. I encourage graduates to mingle with your professors and colleagues, making sure this proud moment is shared with all of those who have contributed to it. Thank you, everyone. Have happy holidays and a great start to 2022.